Hey guys, Terry here for Sedana Surgical Services. How are you? Listen, we're on spring break. This is spring break for you guys in the States. It's Semana Santa for those of us that are here in the Dominican Republic or anybody that practices Christian-based religion. Um, we are celebrating Holy Week this week. Easter is at the end of the week. So this country here is very religious. Um, and so in honor of the holiday we're all on holiday okay but just because we're on holiday doesn't mean that our services stop doesn't mean that we stop catering to you or stop being available to you i mean y'all i am in a dope penthouse with my family enjoying my time but guess what before i got here my recovery house girls came here first and not only that um but i'm here and i'm recording a video for you to keep you guys up to date and not in that swimming pool in the backyard maybe i should take y'all back there maybe before we end this video i'm gonna take y'all back there just to just to show y'all where we're at but meanwhile i'm coming by really quickly with a short video because i want to give you guys some information on some new things that we have coming up and some important tips for surgery so before i get into anything crazy let's run through real quick the reminders that i tell everybody all the time okay one if you're planning to come for surgery i need you to submit a quote request with those quote requests i need you to one have whatsapp enabled on your phone so that i can text you if you text me and you don't give me a phone number on instagram or a phone number that's on whatsapp i cannot message you i don't do email so either reach me by text message on whatsapp or dm me on instagram or write a comment here and we can communicate back and forth that's the first thing second thing if you're planning to come for surgery please make sure that you supplement your iron please make sure that you are not pregnant and please be responsible in the weeks before for surgery so that you make sure your body is in a good place surgery is not a haircut it's not a tattoo although it's a cosmetic choice and it's elective just like a tattoo or a haircut or dyeing your hair that has much more uh, serious consequences and it can be life-threatening so please make sure that you're preparing yourself and taking this seriously also make sure that you're booking with me because if you're not I mean what are you doing seriously now since I just mentioned that you need to be booking with me right because if not what are you doing important times to say I told y'all so okay because I told y'all so. Um, a few months ago, I put out a video about deaths in plastic surgery. And I told you guys, if you were coming out here during tax time, if you were coming out here during spring break, if you were coming out here during a certain point in time or during high peak season, you needed to make sure that one, you had a dope coordinator that was going to protect you more than them protecting their bottom dollar. Number two, you need somebody that is going to look for a good doctor for you. Sometimes good surgeons go bad reality is when these people don't have surgeries all year and they're really good surgeons and all of a sudden the high time comes and everybody wants to flood their doors they don't say no some of these surgeons don't make as much money all year long as they do during this little bit of time and that always creates error it comes from a good place for most some are just shysty and grimy and are foul and you already know about that but you need to know the reason why i say this is because y'all are not in and out the clinic right y'all are not in and out the clinic y'all are not here every day social media and these girls that swear they know and that they willing to put their third child and their first baby and their first grandkid up because this doctor is the bomb and what listen y'all don't know what these people do and money makes people move interestingly money can make people question their own ethics and their morals don't put yourself in a situation where somebody else can't vouch especially somebody that's making money off of it like you got to be real careful it's very very important this is where you have to pay attention to people's reputations and you have to pay attention to people who've been surgeons if you've been a surgeon for five years and you've got 12 deaths if you've been a surgeon for five years and you've got three deaths i mean hello red flags people i have surgeons that have been operating for 16 17 years and don't have deaths i mean these are the things you need to look at stop looking at the instagram pictures because it is very misleading but with that being said, we're going to get to the interesting part of this video. I told you guys, I'm in and out the clinic. I'm a patient. I'm not perfect. I'm a normal person just like y'all. I'm born and raised in the States. I have an American education. However, I wasn't as successful in the States as I've been here. Why? Because in the States, things are a little bit more expensive, right? Obviously. But also, I wasn't involved in plastic surgery. Plastic surgery wasn't as accessible in the United States to people like myself at the time, which were middle class working people, um, as it is here, right? And so because plastic surgery here is so accessible for so many people, um, I'm often frustrated by the lack of resources, the lack of support, the lack of good information, the lack of tools, the lack of doctors, the lack of fajas and supplies that you guys really need to make sure that you get through this so many of you come across the water to have surgery here because you want to save two or three grand but then 
But then what happens is that when you get here, you end up buying a whole bunch of shit that's one overpriced to horrible quality. I mean, when I tell you horrible quality, I am not exempt. I have I have needed to buy boards for people and like last minute people that I've like, you know, gotten or whatever in emergency, whatever, and they didn't have supplies and I've had to buy local stuff. Honey, one, the price is disgusting. And number two, the quality is terrible. So, again, because, I mean, it seems like ever since I got to this country, I've been, like, remaking the game and doing things over. Hmm. Nothing different now. The only difference is that now I need to involve you. I can't do it without you. And you can't do this without me. So, I think we need to bundle together. We're going to be um, setting up an informational conference it's going to be a video conference where you guys will be invited to participate to learn how you can one spread the word about our services two develop your own sales team three open your own business and be involved in really pushing other women to one make safe decisions and two really help other women change their lives i mean this is something that i've been doing now for several years um and i will say and i don't say this because i'm being egotistical but the women whose lives I've come into, I have changed in very big and dramatic ways. And it was because they allowed themselves to be teachable, to be coachable. They allowed themselves to try something new and to give it all they had. At the end of the day, I'm no different than any one of you guys. I'm a single mom. I have two kids. I'm born and raised in the States. I've had plastic surgery because I wasn't happy about something. But just because I chose to have plastic surgery, just because I chose to come over here, doesn't mean that I didn't deserve the best care or the right advice or to be treated appropriately. It doesn't mean that I didn't need a good faha. It doesn't mean that I didn't need a support system or a network. And none of that existed for me when it was my turn. So let's change it. Why not? So, with that being said, I've created She Saw Me. Those of you guys are going to be seeing She Saw Me around. Um, she Saw Me Fashion is a transformative fashion line, particularly tailored to the plastic surgery doll. We have stage two fajas, stage three fajas, mid length fajas, full knee fajas. We have bathing suits for you to have uh, compression bathing suits and butt lifting bathing suits. We have a bra line. We have supply kits. We've got bags. We've got bonnets. We've got a lot of stuff coming out. But at the end of the day, one of the things that I find to be the most powerful is community. And those of us that enter these surgery groups or enter even my chat group or anything like that know how incredibly powerful the the appropriate type of support is right and so that's what i'm trying to create for y'all at the same time while helping y'all to generate income financial freedom time with your families the ability to have more surgery while not having to take time off of work to earn the extra money so with that being said i'm hoping that you guys are gonna one hold my hand on this that you guys are gonna come with me um on this journey you know it's really important there's so many girls that need help there's so many girls that haven't even gotten the information yet they don't even know that they could come here to make their dreams a reality they don't know that they could come here for surgery they don't know that it's safe they don't know that they need an ab board they don't know that they need a backboard there's some girls that don't even know that they need a faha i mean you guys there's so much that we can do and we can do it together so with that i'm gonna leave you i want to drop that seed on you but know that you guys can make an extra $500,000 in a few days if you just put your mind to it, okay? If you want more information, please either comment below with your email address um, or contact me because we're going to be having a sign-up sheet um, for our upcoming webinar where we're going to be letting you know everything about how to join this new opportunity. Meanwhile, I'll be I mean, I remember when I was talking about this idea, I've been involved with millionaire and billionaire sales producers that are full heartedly behind what we are what we are doing right now. And I remember one of the conversations that I had um, with somebody, <laughs> Mr. Ed Blunt, who's been an amazing coach for me over the years. Um, and he he said to me, you're this is your Shark Tank moment. This is your Madam CJ Walker moment. And this is our time, y'all. This is our time. Plastic surgery has never had a boom like this before. It's never been out and as accessible as it is right now. And there's so many people that need our help. So many people that need to know that they can make their dreams a reality. How many women, whether it's plastic surgery, weight loss, after having a child, anything, want to just feel like themselves. Put on my garment, stand in the mirror, and say, she's so me. 
no matter the reason you decided to do to do this no matter the reason why you decided to have plastic surgery or to buy a faha or to want to support somebody else you know the importance of community you know how important the community is yeah the surgeons are there yeah whatever but at the end of the day it's not about the surgeon yeah they do the work in the four hours they got you on the table it's the community and the community sells the community supports the community makes you feel safe why are you not part of that community? Why are why is there not a bigger community making sure that people are safe? I welcome you to be a part of that with me. I welcome you to to form something that is not in existence right now and something that so many people are excited for. I'm excited to see you there. I hope to talk to you soon. Please stay. Oh, I need to do my hair. Please stay um, paying attention to our social media. We will be posting the invitation for the webinar soon. But now I told y'all I was going to go and enjoy my spring break. I would love for you guys to be here with me. In fact, maybe we should do our first personal development conference here. Things to think about. But you won't know unless you sign up. You won't know unless you come through. You won't know unless you're part of my team. So make sure that you... Look at this little hair. I'm telling you, I got to do my hair. Make sure that you reach out. Make sure that you pay attention. You don't want to miss the special invitation. Y'all, I promise you... I promise you, when I started all of this, I was in my recovery bed after having cancer. I wasn't working. I wasn't doing anything. My life has changed dramatically because I made a decision, because I made a choice, because my why was bigger than my why not. So I urge you to ask yourself today, what is your why? Why do you need more time? Why do you want more money? Why would you like to do anything else? Why would you like to enjoy life? Once you figure out your why, once you figure out what it is, and it's bigger than your excuses, I'll be waiting for you.